and I'm back for the second interview this evening up with the um, champions of the Umber Premier League, Chuck Lane. You know the man, he's done no introduction, but please welcome Ryan anyhow. How are you, Ryan? How are we doing, Alex? Thanks. So, are we all prepared for the new season? Well, we just started, we just went into pre-season on Saturday and uh, got them running, to be fair. We had a game against Brid, which was a good experience for us against Brid, to be fair. We had 21 players down, which was uh, a lot for us and we met two mixed sides. And we got a lot out of it, even though the scoreline was 6-1. We actually got a lot out of that, to be fair. Yeah. And, and you learn a lot when you play them. It is. I know well. like, I was, obviously, I was at my son's end up there a bit late. I've noticed there's a few defensive here. Pre-season, first game. It's match fit, isn't it? Match fit. We said in the dressing room before the game, we just use the game. Just yeah. to, you know, get fit. Simple as that. Use it. Use the match to get fit. Go against some good players and, and get fit. Simple as that. Get the ring with stuff and... And you can get much tougher in because no. I would have put, I'll put them down as one of the favourites to go into the Evo to, to get the top three next season. They're, they're, they're a good set of lads, you know. Brett and Bowser are, are doing well with Tomo as well now. They're a good set of lads, they're drilled well, they're all as well, they've got good players. And uh, yeah, I'm not I think Scott well. Phillips, is he still with yep, you? Yeah, Scott's with us, yeah, he's got a couple of childcare issues early on in the season. So but yeah, he's away. We're all away to Benidorm tomorrow, so he's coming on that. So he's, oh, he's there for the most important stuff. Yeah, pre-season trip to Benidorm tomorrow. Are you training out, training out there. No, or? well, might get him on the beach to, doing something, but I doubt, I doubt I'll be able to get him out of bed. I don't think you get him out of the pub <laughs> as well, like no. so. Well, that's all. Been. Benidorm again. Yeah, you went to Benidorm last season, didn't you? Marbella last year. So uh, Yeah, we're Benidorm Oh yeah, it was Chris Spinks that went to Benidorm. You yeah. were Marbella, and that's so. Uh, any more new signings that you've got in? Uh, We've got Ryan Mack, who I was, I've been after Ryan Mack for about three years, to be fair. Oh, school courts. No, Ryan's from, uh, he was at Crown, he was at West Ham last year. He's just my type of player. I love what you see when you get with Ryan Mack, right? And I was on at him and on at him, you know, you should give me a while and there. Uh, it come out of the blue, to be fair, that is, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of giving it a little go, yeah. And I was really mean with him. And, uh, Sam Tucker is another one. And, uh, Sam did a really, really good player. I've been playing for a few years now. He's always in front of the goal and he goes in behind so, and I've got one more lined up uh, but I ain't got that over the line yet but you'll be soon here when I do and going back to last season how disappointed was that cup final yeah very very disappointing um, we had the chance to do the double double which I don't think anyone's done so it was really disappointing to be honest and we didn't play on the night and I credit to all United I, you know, I went in there and I chucked them some money and said go get yourself a beer from me because they worked absolutely so, so tough on the night, put the, the work in and they deserved it. We didn't play well, we didn't play well and sometimes you get that. But if you'd have given me the win the league again and be in the cup final at the start of the season, I'd have snapped your hand off. So on reflection, I can't moan too much, but it's room for improvement again for us. That's what we said when we first come down here on Saturday. There's things we need to improve on. You know, they, we've been in the semi-final three years, semi, semi, senior cup semi-final three times now over the last seven or eight years. We've got to push on in that and we've got to go get that cut back. That's that's where we've got to look at. We've got to go get that cut back. Because I believe now this season coming up, it's going to be one of the best. Yep, and totally. It's going to be more difficult for you and Pop to keep up there. You're going to have to work hard this year. Oh, totally, yeah. Billy Gill and yeah, and Palms yeah. Down that I saw Bill's there. interview with you and I was impressed with what he had to say. And um, he's a good guy, another good footballing guy as well, who puts a lot of effort into his club and he gives it a lot of thought and they'll do well. Pock will always stay strong. I was conscious that I need to keep all my players as well as recruit again because you can't just go on the same squad you had last year. You've got to improve so, all yeah. the time. So I've tried to make acquisition that I think we can improve. But yeah, it's uh, it's going to be good. It's, I know Ricketts are, are recruiting well. Um, yeah, it's going to be really, really good. And Driffield, that young Josh. Yeah. He's, he sounds some got Tom White in from East Yorkshire Carnegie. Yeah. Sam. Yeah. So that's going to be another team oh, that first in with Premier. I think they'll be in the top half. I, I saw what Bill had to say, and he said he wanted to see you know what it was like. And I'll yeah. always say, no matter what the score, there's, there's always teams wanting to give you a game. Yeah. Always teams wanting to give you a game, and uh, it is because um, in this league, with Premier League, you know the players in there. That's good enough for the NCM. And it's the travelling. No one goes to Brazil on a Tuesday night. We 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 have it a lot. We've I mean, I must have had seven or eight of my players being tapped up this year, and rightly so. They deserve to be. You know, mm. I'm quite lucky that I can keep them here. But we try and make it where it's friends. All go out together. When we're going to Benidorm tomorrow, we make the training fun. We make it hard, and we like to compete. 
And I think if you get that, you've got a chance of keeping him. And when you can keep the likes of Nathan, when you can keep Scott Phillips, and you can retain the likes of Grant Tate and bring in the, the players that we have, you stand a chance of yeah. keeping good players as well. Because so, you've got now the young goalkeeper, so Phil can have a little rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve's got, you know, he's, he's a young lad. He's a good keeper. Uh, he was disappointed after Tuesday, but tell me which player I had a stinker in, in <laughs> pre-season. And uh, I said that to him in the car. And uh, no, no problems with it whatsoever. He's got the best man to learn from. And going back to last season, your most memorable match of the season? Got to be puck away just for the performance, just for... We, I thought we was the better side when we drew three all. Even though they went down to ten men, we was the better side, and we could have had it wrapped up. But we took what we, we learnt from that. We took their threat and nullified them totally. Uh, and I thought that was our best performance. And that, when we went into the change room and all the boys were celebrating, it was like we'd not won it, but it was like we'd won it. It was a big step towards it, and thankfully it was. But yeah, everyone on that pitch. As a team, going to, as a team, don't mind, you just said that you're going to Benidorm. Your phone will be hot tomorrow, everybody will want to join you now. Yeah, well, you, you get it a lot. I have had players you know, approach me and I, I never say no to anybody. I always say, you know, you're, you're more than welcome to come down. And because these players need pushing. The reason, like, I think it was me and Nath sat down at the end of the season and said, who are we going to go for? And I said, well, I've got to go for three or four. I need to just keep pressure on these. And uh, yeah. I'm always, you know, more than welcome for players to come. We do do that right. We have a, a really good social side. We do a lot yeah. of events and get out. We go out of town. We go to Benidorm. We always have a, an abroad trip somewhere along the line. So, yeah. It's, Great uh, stuff. Thank you very much good. for joining us. Welcome. welcome. Nice to see you again. Soon. All right. Well, see, well, thanks, Dave. Take care. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. There he goes. There's Chuck Lane, manager Lane. Going back to his team now to finish off his training. I'd like to thank him for interrupting his training to come see me. And um, don't forget this week on Through the Chain Styles, Saturday, Dave Ricardo, Barton Town, Oliver Arsley, young reporter at All Road. Tuesday, I'm at Biddington Friendly against Tadcaster, interview with Ben Curtis Woodhouse, also Jake Day, and on Wednesday, Hall Road Chairman, Darren Sunley. It's all coming your way. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you all soon.